First and foremost, people have just really been looking at personal hygiene in, health, in the healthcare setting. So if you look at some certain countries in Northern Europe, they've been very successful in preventing outbreaks of things like MRSA infections in hospitals, simply by having procedures in place where they change personal protective equipment, they wash their hands, they sterilize themselves to the best of their ability after they see patients. Um, second off, one thing that like my lab is interested in is actually finding new antimicrobial targets or potentially developing new antimicrobials. So we look at essential genes, so in, specifically we look at how organisms synthesize a cofactor called iron sulfur clusters. This is a cofactor that's necessary for a lot of different metabolic pathways. So you can imagine that if you disallow the organism to make this cofactor, a lot of metabolic pathways collapse, which is probably why it's an essential process. So you could take that process, possibly develop a drug against it, and uh, you know that wouldn't necessarily combat antimicrobial resistance, but it would add another tool in our arsenal to possibly treat Staph aureus infections. Another mechanism might be able to use uh, when you treat someone with an antimicrobial, maybe use more than one antimicrobial. So for instance, use something like use a combination of drugs instead of a single therapy to treat that infection because the odds of gaining resistance to two drugs is essentially twice as much as gaining resistance to one drug. And typically there's not even enough cells in the human body, bacterial cells in the human body of an infectious agent that would be able to become resistant to that might to those antimicrobials if you tr co-treated people with two different drugs this is very common for infections caused by uh, for tuberculosis infection treatment for instance and i think now it needs to start to be applied to other antimicro or other infections as well including things like staphylococcus aureus people are trying to repurpose old drugs so old antimicrobials or even molecules that might not be originally discovered as antimicrobials but if these molecules are fda approved they can be worked into the pipeline for treatment relatively rapidly. I will say though that I'm not exactly sure what the future direction of that is or if molecules are currently being used which have been discovered for other things. I mean regardless, there's a wealth of knowledge out there about drugs, how drugs interact with proteins or metabolic processes and those data could be mined to potentially find new antibiotics or antimicrobials or to be able to actually just repurpose old drugs and use them once again. Now we are at an age where it, it's either do or die. Either you try it and let's say you lose your hearing or you die or succumb to an, an antibiotic resistant infection. So with that choice in mind, I think you let the patient make the decision and you know possibly that's a, a route forward for certain treatments.